What are you doing? This is how much I love you. Look at your pants. This is a hot anniversary lingerie. lingerie wear with huckleberry bears on it. <laughs> that is where my cell phone goes. But, look at that. Not done. Whoa. And you get the first ones. Whoa. Because I love you. <laughs> With extra blueberries. It's a big day ahead of us today. Happy anniversary day. Happy anniversary. We slept in. We went yeah. to bed super late. Went to bed super late. Because right. we actually watched a movie that... Some Mark Wahlberg... Uh, it was super intense. I don't know, but like... Jeez, man. They almost like buried his wife and... That was... Yeah. It was, I think it was called con contraband. It was nerve-wracking. Nerve-wracking. Jeez, we're so stressed out. And then um, this morning, we just laid in bed for a long time. A long time. And we did the snuggle thing, so that was cool. Um, we had pancakes, and so the way our day is shaping up is <clears throat> it's 10.30, and we're going to attempt to climb a very high mountain. Yes. Um, hopefully we make it to the top. Hopefully we make it to the top. We have uh, to budget our time. Yeah. At... We have to be back at two o'clock to go. It's an hour drive to Whitefish. So we have to drive to Whitefish. Um, we're gonna go to the gym today because we need Wi Fi. <clears throat> because we are on a Skype call with uh, a TV. television show <laughs> that we're sort of doing like this little uh, preliminary interview thing for, whatever. Um, and then we're gonna lift weights. And then after that, have anniversary dinner. We're gonna have anniversary dinner. So the only problem is we only have a few hours to climb this mountain, so it's gonna be a speed hike. Yes. Hell yeah, speed hike. So we are here and at oh, focus. 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 No, no focus. Alright. Go back out. So we are going to be hiking Scaplock Mountain, which is 6,919 feet, and there should be a little tower at the top. So, very exciting. Um, we have about, I don't know how long it's going to take to hike this, but we have about two and a half hours, so I think we might have to book it a little bit. And what do we got today? Oh, oh, oh dear. That's the one I wanted to do. <laughs> I don't think, know if we have time to do that. Uh, uh, 4.3? That might be tomorrow. Fuck. Uh-oh. That one's so puny. Well, let's just start walking. Jeez, babe. Oh, God. You plummet to your death. Oh, my. All right, go ahead. One hiker at a time. She's such a little hiker. Oh, man. You like Indiana Jones? You like Indiana Jones? All right. Keep going. I'm such a big fat hiker. <laughs> it moves a lot. <laughs> This is sketchy. It just moves a lot. Uh, I felt like I was 
Indiana Jones. Remember when the thing breaks and they all hang yeah, onto it? That's what you feel like. <laughs> Here we go. So the hot, huh? Works and I touch the sky and wave goodbye. Here we go. May, may so going. Best part of my life. Can't even get. But I'm still cool waiting is. on July. No. Tell me that your love is enough. So, I honestly think we're only maybe a thousand feet from the top. So we're like half an hour. I can't even get you. See, I can't even get you in. I think it's like half an hour from um from where we're at. But by the time we hike back down, by the time we drive, I don't like time restrictions. Fireflies cannot pretend. September's falling all around Winter months spent underground October shows her shoulder strap The fireflies cannot fight back Tell me that your love is enough, is enough. So we have a new rule now on our hikes when we descend because we like to jog down because it saves so much time so Rob always runs first because we found out that we sneak up on animals like a giant fox. It was uh, well, they're not gonna know Woody, but uh, size of Woody. I would say I'm not gonna exaggerate here. He looked like he was 35 pounds. 35 pounds? I would have easily said 50. <laughs> That's because you would be exaggerating. No. But I think I enormous. Think the biggest problem is we startled him. But then he sort of just turned around and looked at me and squared back up. Yeah, he wasn't scared. And it's daytime, so... I feel like he should be sleeping. He is a... He now, possibly could be rabid. Ooh. Now, I think the only reason that he actually did run away is because I lift weights. Yeah, so... I think that if, if it was a guy who didn't lift weights... And he was just a little skinny guy... He would have... Attacked him. The fox would have been like, bro, do you even lift? Do you even? I'm going to eat you for dinner. Seriously. And he would have killed the happy couple. So, word to the wise. More of the story. More of the story, story is if you hike, lift some weights. Yeah. So you can scare off animals. Because Rob, all he did was go, bah! And he ran away like yeah. a scared little fox. Well, after he... After he after sized he, him after up. he scared me a little bit. Yeah, but... He probably thought I was an albino, uh... I don't know. An, al <laughs> an albino gorilla. Which way do we go? This that way. way? Tell them what we're doing. We're at the gym we're on Wi-Fi. We went to the gym and we got day passes. And uh, it's a very, very nice gym. Very nice gym. We got, got pool. pool. Yeah, racquetball. They have everything you would need. It's a very, very nice family gym. It's called The Wave. You know, it's more like a country club. It's more like country club. Uh, if I was local to here, I would start my own gym and have it be a very hardcore gym. And then I would also have a membership here for when I wanted to enjoy myself. Um, and you know, when I wanted to relax and feel like a grown up. What? But what we're doing right now is... This is like Starbucks this is really of nice. gyms. What we're doing right now is we're about to have a, I guess, FaceTime call. Because I don't have Skype on my phone. Put a FaceTime call with a television show to see if they want to fuck with us. So um, I did my hair. I washed it. She did today. her hair. I uh, I didn't do anything. I just looked like I normally look. And then after this call, we're gonna lift the weights. The weight test. <laughs> we're at least not training that much. So we're just doing a monstery back and chest workout. Pretty much gonna do four big supersets. So we're hitting flat bench and then we'll do uh, straight bar rows from the floor. Pretty much, pretty much to failure 
if possible. Apparently Dane doesn't have a failure with 135 on bench. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. It's pretty much no break. And we'll do this. Share by Rose. So she does more of a, a standing row. I do more of a pendulum row. I pull from the floor. Mostly because it's harder. And because I only change the weight for this. Come on. This is our jacket. Our second big set. Uh, I do mine cross. Danny does this cross because she feels like she's fancy. You're doing a cross instead of just pulling down. Yeah, she feels fancy, so go to fancy girl. Yeah. Feels good. Try it. So this is high reps. Probably going 20, 20-ish. 20 uh, 15. 15? So doing 15 here. 15 good solid reps. <sighs> you guys at home better be counting for Dana, because we're not. I don't know. <sighs> and then we go straight from, this is a really weird one. Super odd. Chest fly. So she'll do 15 again. So probably 10 here. And then she does something that I do not do. Because they remind me too much of burpees. Which is, she'll do all these chest flies. And then, she does push-ups. And she does the push-ups until failure. And that is exercise number two. And our next big set is on this incline. fantastic little incline hammer strength thing, which is nice because it makes it easy to change the weights between Dan and I. It's a nice, clean movement. Sometimes it makes it easier to stay on machines when we do these giant sets. Come on. Come on. Come on. As far as reps here, a, a billion. One billion one. Now we're straight from here. To close grip. Close grip, uh, close grip pull. Once again, do one billion reps. Right? A billion. So we're filling up pretty good on sushi. Zoom in, zoom in on him. Look at him go. Pain face, pain face. <laughs> I got your pain face. Stop it. Come on. Show him. Next up, seated row. Show them how it's done. Ooh, that form though. 
for our last big set. The last big set here, we do some inclined cable flies. Sorry I'm breathing so aggressively heavy. I'm not used to these big sets. Dana is a professional with these big sets. I am not. Oh. Come on. So this is the fourth big compound here, or the big, uh, not compound, but the big super set. And then she does her little push-ups again. This time, a little decline push-up. I believe for failure. We'll find out in a second. Yeah, where it's a failure. And she awkwardly lays on the ground. And then the final is this uh, pin loaded hammer strength pull down that deer hammer strength that has an obnoxious flop to it. So I don't even like doing it, but the bottom of the motion's good, the last 75% of the motion's good. Prior to that, that stretch at the top, it has this like, obnoxious floppy kick to it. But as long as you can get past that, it's pretty rad. Come on. This is number one. We have oysters. We got a lot of food. Yummy. And another glass of wine for Dean Lynn Bailey. <laughs> So we got next is calamari with a coconut something Thai and then we have seared uh, squid, right? Or octopus, no. Seared octopus with a seaweed salad, um, some sort of yumminess. Look at that. Scallops killing the game. So we have fish tacos. Splitting fish taco entree. Fish tacos. I have the mahi mahi uh, with mango salsa and I added two scallops. Killing the game. What is that? What? Why your shoulder look like that? Uh, we trained today. We trained. We deserve this. We trained today. We trained today, so this is, we're spiking our insulin levels so that all that training we did, that thing is a big, that's a big piece of cheesecake. <laughs> we are going to fall asleep and possibly not wake up. All right, you want to give your review of the restaurant? I just told the owner this is now rated number one. This is my favorite restaurant of all time. Number one. That's a huge deal. It is a huge deal. We travel all over. I like to eat we a travel lot. all over the world and eat in different countries, and you're gonna give this place your number one restaurant. Everything was cooked to perfection. The calamari. The starters are what got me, and then my meal, I got pretty, something pretty simple, but it was still mind-blowing, and then 
the dessert. Like, you know how desserts are usually, like, they're, like, little tiny things. And you usually finish them, and you're like, ah, oh, I could go for some more. This thing was covered the entire plate. You pro you have video of it. And the chocolate was amazing. So, if you're ever in Montana, in Whitefish, go to Stillwater Fish, what is it? Stillwater Fish House. Stillwater Fish House. Rated number one by DLB, and I love food. So you should come here. No, no, we're on that